So I, I think that's where that real issue with political correctness comes in is because your own ideological bent now directs how you're seeing these conversations and you're pulling out the, the completely the wrong thing that you want to be saving if that's what you want to accomplish, which is running a successful business. <laughs> yeah, check us we out gotta... on Clubhouse. If you're on Clubhouse, look up Jerry Brazy. We've, we're planning on hosting some rooms and having some active conversations with our listeners. Yeah, it was uh, an, an interesting first foray into that. That's, uh, uh, that's going to be interesting, too, I think, because we will see how my personality plays out over that. And I say that only because, admittedly, I have limited exposure to it, but the rooms that I have been in so far are way too chill from a business perspective, in my estimation. <laughs> right? So they're, yeah. they're, there's too much hand-holding BS, uh, not enough you know, meat and potatoes. There's just lots of fluff and whipped cream. Um, good information. You know, sometimes people just need to be kicked in the balls uh, to understand what it is that they're supposed to be doing, and there's a lot of patty caking around, uh, and I don't think that that's necessarily valuable. I certainly don't take it that way. Uh, and then there's all the political correct bullshit, too, that uh, I just said I wasn't going to cuss anymore, and I already cussed five <laughs> seconds into the podcast. Um, there's all that political correctness uh, that's going on. Um, I, I'll give you an example. One of the things on podcast, or podcast on, uh, what's the name of it, Billy? Club, Clubhouse. Clubhouse. One of the things that happened to me was, or happened in a, in a room that I was in listening to this business conversation. And there's, I don't know, 150 people in the room. And the, one of the, uh, one of the ladies that was moderating is talking about the job that this guy was doing and, and, and that he was doing it correctly and successfully. And I didn't disagree with that. It made sense. Uh, and that the calls he was making were the correct calls. And then some other woman comes on and says, I'd like to set the record straight that you said that the per now the person who she was telling this to and had told the story and said what he did, and then this business expert was agreeing that what he did is the correct thing, some other woman comes on and says, but a woman, I just want to make the point that a woman could make the same decisions, that a woman could do it the same way that that he did. And so when you kind of say, Hey, to a man, that was a good job. You have to make certain that you go, that was a good job, but men could, or women could do it also. It's like, and, 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 and again, then all of a sudden she's a hero, of course, right? All of a sudden what she's doing is magical and nobody goes, it takes two seconds to go, shut up. Why are, what are you, what are you doing? It's not what we're here talking about. In fact, and this is what I'm talking about, it's, it's so that the thing about Clubhouse that I've noticed to the negative, I got a cord going crazy, that I've noticed to the negative is the political correctness, which mm. political correctness is impossible to, you want real advice, you want real help, you want real information, you ain't going to get it being politically correct. You're not going to get it tiptoeing. Uh, around uh, issues that need to be talked about because you're trying to be sensitive to somebody else's sensibilities, right? To try to figure out whether or not what you're going, trying to figure out whether or not what you're going to say is going to offend somebody is stupid. In a, in a entrepreneur success business mindset room or conversation or podcast, I'm not talking about being disrespectful. I'm just talking about this is the way that it is. And if you don't want to do it that way, that's fine. But that way isn't man, woman, or child. If you're capable of doing these things, then you're going to be able to do them. But to get through all of the fluff and to get through all the BS, you have to take all of the political correctness out of it. Now, that's for the people delivering the message, the people hearing the message. If you're going into that room, and if you're going anywhere trying to get information, trying to get advice, trying to hear stories, trying to be inspired, whatever your reason is for going in there, maybe you're going to, you want to be an entrepreneur, but you're not sure what to do or how to do it. You're uncomfortable. You're, you're unsure of yourself. Like so many people are, you don't know how to get it started. You don't know how to get it off the ground, all of the worry and concern that goes with it. So you're looking to go find like-minded individuals, which you should. 
that can maybe give you some insight into what it's like because you've done it before or give you some advice into what to expect in certain circumstances, maybe specific to what you want to go try and get into, maybe much more broadly into just business uh, in and of itself. If you're politically correct, if you in your head in going and asking for that advice and looking for that information, come with some sort of a politically correct bent, and by politically correct, I mean uh, some aggrieved opinion you have on somebody or somebody or something that happened to you at some point, and you want to make sure that everybody knows that this happened to you and to then feed you your advice based on this event in your life that has nothing to do with specifically to how a business gets run. If you were bullied, I'll use the big one, bully. I use it all the time. All, if I had a dime, no, I'd be rich. I, I wouldn't even need a dime. If I had a penny for every time I heard the word bullied on, on Clubhouse, I, 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 it'd be over the top. So that, that is, an, and, I, and what I want, what people need to learn and understand is that word, that term bullied, it doesn't, it has zero meaning. It doesn't mean anything to anybody because it's so broad that the guy who got knifed in the locker room could say that he was all bullied. And the person who was called ugly could say that they were bullied. Now, getting knifed in the locker room, it's gonna, you're going to remember that for the rest of your life. But you, Billy, and I both know that the majority of bullies are, particularly like when it comes to uh, female on female bullying, it's the words they use. It's like I got bullied online, but you didn't. You allowed yourself to get bullied online. You allowed the words that people called you to affect you. You allowed the physical nature of getting punched in the face because you wore glasses or getting punched in the face because you were different or you like to wear goth clothing or whatever, or you like the Teletubbies, whatever it is, whatever aggrieved nature you think you have, that's fine. Live with it. Take it to the grave with you. It's just not for business. It's not for entrepreneurship. It's not for trying to succeed. And that then is where I get so sideways, where I hear about these success or, you know, these success rooms where they don't stop because society doesn't let them and everybody's going to get canceled. Shit, I'll probably get canceled for talking about this. Now you made me get <laughs> cussed again, Billy. Um, because those sorts of excuses have zero value they are in trying to reach out and do what you want to do. Everyone has an excuse. Everybody. Well, and I bullying... The bigger, sorry. The go ahead. Here, Let me finish my thought. Hold that thought yeah. one second, Billy. And bullying is probably the most specific one. There are others, but that's probably the most specific one. Even... And here's where I'll end it. And then, Billy, don't forget your thought. Even if it's true, you can't let it be true. Even if it happened exactly how you said, and even if it was as terrible as you make it out to be in your head, let's pretend like that is reality for every single bullying incident. You can't let it, attack. You can't let it get to you. It can't be an excuse. It can't be a reason for doing anything other than succeeding, because all it, for, all it will do is pull you backwards. Billy, what were you going to say? I was going to say the, the bigger, I, the big issue with this, especially within these types of groups, is that, you know, take it back to your first example there, this, this woman comes on and talks about how she worked with some guy who was super successful, and these are all the successful things that he did, right? Giving him praise or whatnot. If you come out of that only hearing that a man did something and your response to it is, well, a woman can do that too. You miss the complete point of the conversation in regards to business of this is how you operate a successful business or this is how you make good decisions. The discussion didn't have anything to do with a man or a woman in charge. The discussion had to do with business and how it was done appropriately and somebody else giving praise to that. So I, I think that's where that real issue with political correctness comes in is because your own ideological bent now directs how you're seeing these conversations and you're pulling out the, the completely the wrong thing that you want to be saving if that's what you want to accomplish which is running a successful business 